Here we have an infinity mirror with a surround that's an LED clock powered by the Arduino. As can be seen here, there as can be seen here, there is an LED strip which is of the WS2812. And here is an Arduino Nano connected to a real-time clock. There's a battery which enables the time to re be retained uh, when we turn the power off. And here is an, a rotary encoder with a push button. So to make an infinity mirror out of it, we're going to use a normal mirror underneath. And then on top, we're going to use a 50% uh, one-way mirror that allows part of the light to be reflected and part to be um, see to, to be transparent. Now I have CNC this plywood uh, to create slots for each of the LEDs and here you can see that I've painted each slot white and then the inside black and that's to emphasize each light um, and then I put that on top of the one-way mirror and then put the normal mirror on the back get it screwed down so if we get it plugged in and now we can see the nice effect is it, is it appears to go beneath kind of the surface of the table um, and now you can see that that kind of real 3d effect of those LEDs as it drops back um, and right, with the light off this is where it comes into its own and and as I mentioned before you've got the LED holes um, which means even though you can't see the light from a certain angle going down, um, you can see it at the face. And uh, so there we go. That is the LED clock uh, with the infinity mirror, powered by an Arduino, all open source. Thanks for watching. Here we have an infinity mirror with a surround that's an LED clock powered by the Arduino. As can be seen here, there is an LED strip which is of the WS2812 and here is an Arduino Nano connected to a real-time clock. There's a battery which enables the time to re be retained uh, when we turn the power off and here